It's no surprise that athletes make a lot of money. But how often have you seen an athlete's pay stub? Well, if you're on Reddit, I'm pretty sure you probably have come across Andrew McCutcheon's pay stub. He is actually a baseball player with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And uh, he is making a ton of money. In fact, he has a six-year contract for $51 million. So what does he get paid every other week? Let's take a quick look at his pay sub, which was leaked on Reddit. I love that it was leaked. We usually know what athletes make. Yeah. But anyway, the pay stub shows a pavement of about $430,000, okay, for a two-week pay period. Um, it also shows deductions like the jock tax, and those are deductions for playing in other states, right? Um, and then he gets about a $250 stipend for meals because, you know, the $430,000, you can't pay for meals on that. And uh, he also pays a Pittsburgh professional athlete's fee of about $10,000. He will make $10 million this year as part of his six-year $51 million contract. Now, I don't have much to say about this other than I'm not surprised. Athletes do make a lot of money. The one thing that I am surprised about is how baseball players still make a ton of money because I was <laughs> I was under the assumption that baseball has like a dwindling audience, but I could be wrong about that. Christian, you were a professional baseball player. You jump in and tell me what you think. Make your point. Yeah, no, baseball is as popular as it's ever been. I mean, not just in the U.S. I mean, you see other Latin countries just getting, I mean, they've always been in the baseball, but it's even bigger now. There's a little camp set up over there and there's... Guys coming over from, from Cuba, and I think that's going to be even more prominent now. But no, baseball is, is as huge as, as it's ever been. It's, it makes a ton of money, so that's why they can pay these guys a lot of money. I mean, it sucks because I wish I made that kind of money when I was playing baseball, and I didn't even make close to that. But, uh, I mean, hey, man, if you're doing, getting to do something you love, um, shit, more power to you. I, what I can, can't understand is how there's, like, arguments and fights in baseball when you're making this much money. Just mm -hmm. goes to show you money doesn't always buy you happiness. No. Oh, it's very Still get true. Upset, but Best yeah, point. Good for Absolutely. Him. Andrew, Andrew, Andy. That's okay. That's also my name. <laughs> okay. So, like, okay. I'm fine with that. I'm like, I'm taking my mic off. Andy's, <laughs> Andy's a 16-year-old. Yeah, that's right. I'm Andrew, 26. Andrew, I'm, Andrew's his adult. I'm, like, settling into Andrew. <laughs> the six letters are better than four. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, nobody's surprised. Athletes, they make a lot of money. But I think that what it really goes to show also is that we still, in a world where, for some reason, it's very very popular right now to hate people who are successful. Um, we we still uh, are, are okay with, with these people who are kind of superhuman mm -hmm. doing things that are fantastic, that make a lot of money for this team and rewarding them and incentivizing them to continue to do this and continue to make money. Um, sports is like the most just thing in the entire world, right? Either you, you're good at it or you're not. Mm -hmm. I mean, they keep very, very close tabs on how well you do your job. And it's like, if you can't do it, then you're out. And how many people can do what Andrew can do? Not many. And that's why he's paid so much. That's a great point. And another thing I'd like to add is for uh, the vast majority of professional athletes, it's not something that they can do till they're 65. It's something that they can do if they're lucky into their mid-30s. And then their mm -hmm. professional you know, sports career is over. And then what do they do after that? I mean, if you didn't make a ton of money and make the right investments, you're kind of fucked. Mm -hmm. ESPN. Right? Yeah, a, lot, a lot of these guys go into debt or go into bankruptcy after their, even if, if even when they make millions and millions of dollars, it's just like they don't know what else right. to do, so they just spend, spend their it money. All. Yeah. It's devastating. All yeah. right, well, here's the question for the story. In your opinion, which occupation is overpaid? Andy, jump in. Yeah, so for me, this is just off the top of my mind right now in Los Angeles, I think the most overpaid occupation is somebody who works at the LADWP. Uh, uh, if, you, if you follow Los Angeles news, like you probably wouldn't if this is a national audience, but um, our LADWP uh, is, is paid, outranks their pay uh, to any other person in the private sector for similar jobs, um, and there's zero accountability. There's there's all kinds of waste. It's, it's all taxpayer money. Um, Note to self. Yeah, apply check it out. For yeah, I know, right? I mean, you listen to this kind what? of stories where people are making three hundred thousand dollars a year. Definitely apply to do, to do uh, <laughs> things that in the private sector should be making forty thousand dollars a year, um, all by voting themselves increases and, and giving themselves these. Uh, these uh, benefits and things like that. That's amazing. Uh, I look into that. It's a, it's, a, it's a crazy story. Yeah, definitely check it out. Wow. Christian, what do you think? All that freaking money and they can't even give us enough hot water? Right. Fuck, man. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> um, the pipes no, are bursting. Yeah, yeah, man, what the hell? Shit. Uh, no, overpaid for me. Uh, first one that comes to mind, like Andy said, Kim Kardashian. Like oh, any, yeah. any, ah. Anybody who's a reality star. I mean, I'm not hating on her. Good for her. You know, good for Kanye. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, she's famous. She's rich for being famous for like, I don't know, it's just, she doesn't really do anything 
Yeah, to, I, I think a lot know? of people would agree yeah, with you. Yeah. Um, um, underpaid would have to be uh, just service people that put their lives on the line on, mm -hmm. on the daily. You know, just I mean, it, it takes a lot to do that. I mean, I know that's what they signed up for, but people that really genuinely put their lives on the line and put themselves at risk yep. to like protect other people, that's they, they got to be paid a little more. Yes, I totally mm -hmm. agree with that. Um, in my opinion, uh, people who are overpaid in this country include university presidents. So right now you're seeing increased tuition, increased student loan debt among students, and at the same time you have some of these college presidents that are making, it, I'm not kidding, some college presidents in the United States are making over a million dollars. It's unacceptable, okay? As a president, you need to be a leader and you need to make a statement by saying, look, I don't need this kind of money. Not only do they make a million dollars, they get a house and a car and a bunch of other benefits on top of that. And when you consider all the grief that you know, students are going through right now just to get their hands on higher education. It's unacceptable that that's happening in the country. Anyway, but I want to know what you guys think. There are lots of professions that are either overpaid or underpaid. I, we didn't even mention bankers. So I want to know what you guys think. Comment in the section below, and we will see you soon.